Oh, yeah. What do you think they win fight? You yeah, I'm gonna have to ask you a question. I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna ask him too. Uh, what, what you think I, I, they win fight? I would fight? say discipline is one of them. Discipline, okay. Time don't necessarily mean, don't, don't mess with me, you're gonna be a great fighter. You don't got no talent, you ain't gonna be a fighter. No, 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 that ain't true. You got guys that got talent, they still never won a world championship. One of the greatest fighters in the, in the world of the amateurs, Howard David Jr. He had all the talent in the world. But has there ever been a fight with no Listen, 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 listen to me. Howard David Jr. one of the greatest amateurs in the history of boxing. He won an Olympic gold medal. He was an outstanding fighter of the whole Olympic team, right? But he's the only one that ever won a world championship, right? Because there's something missing. Some, it was something that somebody didn't give him. He had all the boxing, but it was, it was something somebody didn't give him. You need that man in the corner in your ear telling you, listen, you need to do this. You need to adapt to this. It, it ain't just a fighter. Fighter, listen, one of the smartest guys in boxing, he never had a trainer day in his life. You know who that is, don't you? He never, never trained a day in his life? I said he ain't never had a trainer day in his life. You know who that is, don't you? Who they call the greatest heavyweight in the world? That's his thing. Okay then. Who trained him? Okay then. No motherfucking body. He made the adaption himself. It went, how can a guy tell you, listen, you're blowing it, son, you're blowing What the fuck is that? How does that make an adaption to a fighter? You got to fight, right? Muhammad, remember one thing about Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali don't even throw body shots. So the guy never told him to throw blowing shots. So when he come back to the corner, what did he say? You're blowing it, son, you're blowing it. How did that win a fight? Tell me. So how are you keeping the training sessions fresh? Boxing is learning, learning over and over and over again. You make your fighter do what the things he needs to do in terms of to get it across to him. You, you got to make him do it. You got to make him, regardless of what he want to do it, you got to make him do it. And remember, the father got a mind of his own too. He ain't a fool. So when he see you working on something that's, that worked for him, that's what he going to do. He ain't going to do something that ain't going to work for him because the object is to win, you see. So. But that's during the fight, right? What about in advance? Of no, no, the fight? that's before the fight. That's before the fight. You don't teach no fighter on the day of the fight what to do. You teach the fighter, the, 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 the men you start training them, you teach them what to do right then. So in that way he knows what to do when it comes come time to fight. It'd be natural to him. So you say just, you're always learning, so what's, what's he been learning recently? About this dude, nothing, because I ain't, I ain't training him about this dude, because I ain't never looked at this dude tape. What's he, been don't worry, what's, what's, he been, what's he been learning about himself since, since we last saw him in the ring? He learned the same thing he always learned. He learned this. Number one, he gonna tell you this. I'm the greatest fighter in the world. Ain't gonna make no difference. Even he gonna tell you this, whether I trained him or I didn't train him. He gonna say, I'm the greatest fighter in the world. And that motherfucker ain't never gonna beat me no way. That's what he gonna tell you, you see. But he gonna take what I tell him, and he gonna run with that, because that's where you win and make it easy on yourself. And what about in terms of looking after his body, what he eats? And oh, he don't. That doesn't come you from you. You ain't got, it. you ain't got, you ain't got, listen, you ain't got to make him run. You ain't got to make him run. See, one thing about him, you don't got, you don't got to make him run. I ain't tell him you, you got to run today. I don't tell him no shit like that. Ain't nobody going to tell him that because he going to do that anyway. He going to run anyway. He going to, you ain't got to make him run. You ain't got to make him run. You ain't got to say, look, look, I, I want you to train today. You ain't got to tell him that. He going to train anyway. Remember, he loved being the best. So he going to do the work to, to make him the best. So you, you ain't got to tell him, oh, I want you to run. Oh, I want you to do this. Oh, I want you. I ain't got to tell him that. Well, I tell him the mount, only I tell him, I tell him how many times I want him to run that motherfucker mount. How I want him to run through that mount. That's it. Basically, he's going to do the work himself. So what have you got him doing? You say he's going up mountains and stuff like that. What's, what's, what's oh, he doing? Well, he, if he's he going up if, the if mountain, you can break it down, what's, what's he doing? I tell him just like this. I say, 
I want you to run this mountain this many times. I want you to run it this many times, I want you to run it like this. That's what I tell him. I stay there and I watch him. I make sure he do the running. I ain't really got to stay there, but I, but I stay there anyway, because I'm there. So I say, this is what you got to do. I say, now, he don't watch tape. I watch tape. So I look at the tape. I say, you know what? I want you to do this. Whatever it is, I want you to do this. I ain't watch tape yet, but I say, him, I tell him, I want, me, I want you to do this. This is the easiest way to count on this, this is the easiest way. This, this is going to make the fight easy for you. That's all I do. What's, what's the major way that training methods have developed since the time you were fighting and you know, now employed you? I've been training. I've been training since I was a kid. I've been training. I've been training fights since I was about ten years old. That's how I learned to hold the miss anyway. So it's not a big thing to me. It's not a big thing to say. Whatever I, my me and my nephew got chemistry. Whatever I tell my nephew to take a risk, he gonna take it. Cause he know that's what he know. I know what I see. He gonna take it. He ain't gonna question me about taking it. He gonna take the risk because the risk is the way you win. That's what box is about. Boxing is about risk anyway. So you gotta take the risk in order to win. Does he listen to you more than he listen to his dad? He don't listen to his dad. Why you think he with me? <laughs> Back in the day, he ain't never been with his dad but about three fights. Yeah, I had him his whole pretty much his whole career, and his whole amateur career. So, so was he gonna listen to his dad? Did you agree with Floyd that it was? Hudson that wasn't listening to I don't know if that's the truth or not. Yeah. I know he got his ass knocked out. And I know he was telling Hatton what to do. He got his ass whooped. He sound so like you disagree then. He sound like maybe it was Don't say it, don't it say I fault. sound like it. You do disagree. Well I know he got his ass whooped. He was doing something wrong. Floyd said Floyd said that you're the, you and you and uh, his dad are the best two coaches in the world. So you're saying you're the best coach in the world? Huh? I got who got the best fighter in the world? You the best coach in the world. Who got the best fighter in the world? You don't have an opinion on that. I don't. I don't have to. True. Cause you, you know can what? You do the best of what you've got to work with, right? And, listen, listen, listen. And, and Floyd's the best. No, no. I had the best female fighter in the world too. You know who that was, don't you? Who's that? You know who the best female was? Huh? I'm, I'm not a deep boxing fan. You tell me. You know who the best female in the fighter was? Layla. Say it again. Layla. Layla Ali, okay. Okay. So I tell you something, don't Layla won four world championships with me. I have my nephew won six world with me. So So why why saying. if you if you haven't watched any tapes for your next fight, how do you how do you know that he's gonna beat Marcus? Come he's gonna beat him anyway. Humor me, humor me. Oh no no. How am I gonna go? He gonna beat him anyway because he got too much skill for him anyway to begin with. Mm. To begin with, he got too much skill for him. But when I tell him something, he see it. It's gonna be more natural to him to do it. See, if you don't see nothing, then I can't say how to count on this or how to count on this way because I will, I don't know. But once I see the tape, the tape will give me an idea of what I need to do with him. Do you see any strengths with this Marcus? I guess he's obviously a good little fighter. But he ain't fought he ain't fought a guy on my he ain't fought a, a, a fighter on my nephew on my nephew's statue as far as big time fights. He ain't had that. He had good fights though. He had good fights, but my nephew would have beat them dudes too. Is there anybody in the UK you'd like to coach? Who? Oh. Is there anybody, any fighters over here who you look at and you'd say, I'd like to coach them, brush them up, clean them up a bit? Yeah, I used to train Ricky, I used to train Ricky Hatton. You need to train Ricky Hatton? Yeah, I used to train Ricky Hatton. Yeah, he got his ass knocked out a minute ago. Your brother's not doing it good enough. I ain't say that. You did. <laughs> 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 yeah, but I guess. If, 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 if Ricky, if, if, I really don't want to train Ricky Hatton. I, ain't, I just said that. Yeah, yeah, I, know. I just said that he's a big guy over here, but I don't give a damn whether I train him or not. I train somebody to whoop him again. So if you were training Floyd and, and your, your brother was training Ricky, 
he get knocked out. Whatever again. Well, if he ain't training anybody, my nephew, he's probably my nephew, he's gonna get that book. He hadn't get knocked out. He would get knocked out? Yeah. If you were training, how to? So, he get knocked out still. It's not, not good enough. Some uh, something you can't you can't teach your old dog new tricks. Right. So you got He ain't got but limited skill. I ain't a fool. Yeah, you can't make you can't make him Ray Robinson. Did you see the fight with Marquez guy in the distance? Not really. Not really. Can you give us a prediction? What round is gonna last to? Well, I don't know how what round, but I, I I don't think the fight will go the distance. He's a good little fighter, but I don't think the fight will go the distance. That means Floyd's gonna knock him out. He ain't got knock him out. Well, he's knock him out or stop him. Either one, either way. Okay, okay. Long, long as the win, and he don't make ten, then that's. Is there anybody out there that could beat Floyd? Or anybody that would give him a good fight? Yeah. A lot of fights. Shane Moore didn't give him a good fight. Shane Moore is a good fighter still. Uh, yeah, this guy is giving him a good fight because you still, you still got good fighters out there. But I think the one to give him probably Shane Moe. He said Shane's lost five fights, so if you got in and beat him, he wouldn't gain any respect from that. Is that just... I'm not saying mean because you lost five fights. That, that, um, you can't look at a fighter and say because he lost five fights that he ain't a great fighter. You know? The greatest fighter in the world lost 25 fights. So what? Right? True that. Okay, then. So you can't say he ain't great because he lost 25 fights. I was, I was referring to what Floyd said earlier in the press conference where he said if he was to fight um, Mosley and he got in the ring with Mosley and he won, people would be saying, yeah, but... You know, he was on his way out. But see, listen, but here's the thing about boxing. You can't, but you, you can't say what, I can't say what he is and I ain't never fought him. How am, how am I going to make a prediction on a guy I ain't never fought? You see? My mind obviously tell me, tell me I could be any motherfucker who get in the ring if he's my weight class. I can beat him. That's what your mind supposed to tell you. But don't necessarily mean that that's the normal way where it would turn out. It's just that since I'm since I think I'm the best fighter in the world, I don't believe no motherfucker can beat me, and I'm not supposed to. If Floyd, if Floyd is the best fighter in the world, and it's not a debate, it's not a debate. Why is he still fighting? You know what boxing is, don't you? Mm. You know what money is, don't you? But he got plenty of that. So what? He ain't got enough, and I ain't got enough either. That's why we going back in the motherfucking get some more. We ain't bullshit. We gonna tilt the, we gonna we gonna turn the bank over. We gonna try find some withdrawals, find <laughs> some motherfucking money I ain't got yet. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Look at all that bullshit. I ain't never seen enough money. You, you ever seen enough money? And you ain't either. <laughs> so you know what I'm doing, don't you? All right, then. Going back and trying to see. See what they got left. <laughs> so you could, yeah, it left. <laughs> you could, you could be training him for a couple of more fights after this. Uh, huh? Uh, look, man, listen. I probably be trained to I die anyway, so it don't make no difference whether it's him or whether it's somebody else or whether it's a young guy. I be training my son. Shit, my son love boxing. How old your son? You see my son on the internet all the time. I did, I did, yeah. Yeah. So you know. So he's the next one. About, my son know more, more about boxing than most kids. 17, 18 years old, so it don't matter. I, I'm not saying he'll be, he won't be the next one, not because he's so young. But the thing of it is, I train a bunch of fighters anyway, so it don't matter. I train a bunch of guys anyway. So as long as, as, long as the, uh, the motherfucking boxing game study making money, then goddamn I'll be training a fighter. When boxing stop making money, I'm going to cut them motherfuckers loose and let them drown. As long as they make money, I'll be around. On that note, Mr. Mayweather, thanks for your time. Been a pleasure talking to you. Have a good day.